Hello, Konstantin Rabitsev. How Hello. are you doing today? I'm doing very good, thank you. So you were in PyCon 2014 in Montreal. That's right. I think you're a Montrealer, aren't you? That's right. I am. I live in the West Island, but I am technically in Montreal because it's still on the island. So tell me about uh, the Linux Foundation that you represent here. Mm -hmm. What What are you doing at the Linux Foundation and mm -hmm. what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Well, at Linux Foundation, I am part of the uh, team that's called Collaborative Projects, and uh, we support uh, a lot of projects that are, are open source projects on the uh, on the market. When direct competitors want to work on a project that uh, will be involving many players in the market, like Qualcomm, like Intel, like many, 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 many other big companies, they don't want to host this project on you know on their competitors' uh, uh, systems. So they actually want to find a neutral ground. And Linux Foundation, we have a lot of expertise in legal for open source. We'll have we employ a lot of uh, 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 IT professionals who will, can set up your hosting environment, who can provide you a lot of um, support for uh, reaching out to developers and finding developers and can give you, provide you PR, social prediction, all those things. We're kind of trying to package it and say, if you want to work on an open source project that your company is really interested in putting it forth and, and having it succeed, please come to uh, Linux Foundation. We'll help you. We'll help your project take it. Uh, you know, uh, off the the planning stage and get it to uh, to deck to the production, and we can host it and you know just help you out. Originally, Python mm -hmm. was uh, mainly uh, deployed mm -hmm. on open source uh, mm -hmm. operating systems, mm -hmm. so Linux, not to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, today uh, there are some competition there. We've been told that uh, Microsoft, for instance, and mm -hmm. Azure want to mm -hmm. uh, support Linux machines, mm -hmm. and so there is a, a kind of mix here. I think we are very happy that Python works very well on Linux. I mean, we use uh, Python all the time at the Linux Foundation. We, we have wrote tools that are solving specific problems. Uh, one of the mirroring tools we use at kernel.org, for example, is in Python. It's, it's helping us dramatically simplify how to mirror Git repositories and a lot of Git repositories from one allocation to the other. Uh, but I don't think uh, Python and Linux actually have any sort of a direct relationship. We just kind of coexist, and, and Linux is happy to provide uh, Python with a stable platform they can run on. Uh, in terms of other operating systems, you know, we try to be very pragmatic at Linux Foundation. You know, if availability of Python on Windows or Mac or any other platforms helps bring more developers towards the open source product like Python, yeah, absolutely, we're happy by that. Absolutely. Uh, myself, I'm a uh, senior admin at the Collaborative Projects IT team. Uh, Linux Foundation, our stated goal is the uh, promotion of Linux. We want to see it adopted across the board, and it's becoming more and more difficult to say areas where we still need to move and, and heavily invest ourselves because you know Linux is everywhere. You know, it's other than desktops, which are dying. You know, honestly. And uh, Linux Foundation, uh, I think we have about 60 people right now. Uh, there are different aspects that Linux Foundation does. We have events. We have uh, we have Linux collaborative projects. We have training. We have a legal department. Sort of, if you have questions about about um, how to develop software for Linux, so you how to write drivers for Linux, and you have questions, you can come to us. We employ Linus Torvalds. We employ Greg Hartman, which are one of the lead developers, maintainers for Linux kernel. And uh, all of our those 60 people work from anywhere in the world. I can only speak for my team, but we have people in, in the US, we have people in, uh, in Canada, we have uh, two people in Montreal here, uh, including me. There is a person in Australia, and, and you know the benefit of such a distributed environment, well, Linux itself is a very distributed project, so there is no one uh, place where Linux developers come and work on, on it. So we try to build Linux Foundation as the same idea in, in mind. And it, it, it dramatically simplifies to find really good um, talent. We can hire SS admin anywhere in the US, Canada, or Australia, mm -hmm. and hopefully in Europe sometime in the future. But um, And I find that Montreal and Quebec are, are awesome places to be a SS admin developer who works from home. You know, Quebec has a lot of social programs that if you're a young professional, you have a family, if you, you know that, so all of that is already provided for you for daycare and all that, and healthcare. And uh, I think a lot more companies in the world need to uh, look into Montreal is, is a place to potentially, if they're looking into having developers work from home remotely, mm -hmm. Montreal is a place to do it. So what else to say? Th yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. I'm quite happy to be here. <laughs>